But I just want to let you guys know, anytime y'all want to talk, anytime y'all want to know something, anytime y'all want to be shown something, Kenny will stop whatever he's doing to show you guys whatever y'all need. You know, even if you want to learn to be a uh, grow in a in a man, he's there for you guys. I mean, all of them are for you guys. But you know, to me, he's the best. You know, I remember the first time I was told that. Uh, Kenny had this um, low thumb. Is that right? Not high school thumb. And I was riding around in my truck one day. And I mean, I broke down because I see it. My brother been a part of my life all of my life. For me to think for one second he's not going to be there any longer, oh, it told me up. But also at the time, I had to grab myself by my bootstrap and say, hey, this ain't the time for this. You know? You can be sorry some other time. You need to be there and make sure everything's good. You know, that's where I was at. Okay, what, what I like to say is, listen to everything, God has to be your refuge. God has to take place of all that. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? God has to take place of everybody in this room. You know, use this, you can use this as a learning tool or, or to bring somebody else to God. You know what I'm saying? So you have to look at it like that. You got way more to live for than anything else because that's what God wants you to do. It, it's all about help. It's all about helping each other. And that's what God put you here for, to help. Not help yourself, to help someone else. Because in doing so, somebody's going to help you. And that's just how God works. You know, when you need help, we, we here as a family, or anybody else. So I would say, put your refuge, your time, into what God wants you to do. And, and ask God for a vision for you and he will give you that vision and, and you will find that you will find so much peace into what you're going through now so that's, that's my thing that's what you should do Only reason I say that because when me and Angie was coming up we owned property we had the big house we had the cars and all this other stuff we doing good you guys seen all that right? But guess what? I wasn't giving God no time. Nothing. Working seven days a week, three jobs, just to keep what we had. Frustrating to have that. Oh, it looks good. You know what God did? He took it all, every bit of it. So I'm gonna reduce you down to looking at your life. I'll take your life if I want to. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Because really can't nobody in this room do nothing for you but God. Because the thing this is, one of these days we all not going to be here. We don't know what our number is. God can call us at any time like he did mom and dad. Like Michael said, he struggled with it. I did not. I didn't struggle with it because I know the word of God said he's going to come and to receive you unto himself. So I knew when they left, it was kind of relief to me because what mom and dad was going through, they got their wishes. They didn't want to have to bury any of their kids. They didn't have to do anything that they left before we did. That was their wish. But I knew it's all in God's hands. So to to put refuge in anybody or any of us put refuge in each other, we can't. Our refuge got to be in the Lord because He's the only one that can save you from this. Said, it has to start with you and you, you'll find that peace in there because I, I don't deal with a lot of issues like I used to I mean hey life moves fast and we're not gonna be here talking to each other exactly. someday you know I, like I told Pat a while back when mom and dad passed I said Pat I said I wonder who's next 
And she said, you don't worry about that. And then God spoke to me and said, it might be you. And that's when I had cancer. And I'm looking at it like, I asked her that question. And God looking at it, it might be you. So be careful what you're saying. So, you know, I had got sick and everything else. I started thinking, well, it's going to be me. You know what I'm saying? I said, well, you know, when I had the cancer and stuff, I said, if it's my time, it's my time. There ain't nothing I can do about it. If he wants me, there ain't nothing, and nobody in this room, nothing else can do. The same for everybody else.
to have into pieces sheen light and flash from above, from above. Strongly rooted, that tree will break. 